Now, squash hasn't given up hope of one day becoming an Olympic sport. Last year, they were turned down for a third successive games. Richard Parr went, out, went to find out what the future holds for the sport. The World Squash Championship is the sport's pinnacle, but they want it to be the Olympics. Last year, squash missed out on being included in the program for the 2020 Games. But there could be a glimmer of hope. The executive board are meeting in December, um, and I think Thomas Bach, the, the new president of the IOC, is keen to, to put his mark on, you know, he's, he's president now, he's keen to put his mark on it. So he, he's looking at a, maybe a refresh, a possible refresh of the program. Um, and who knows what that might entail. Last month, the men and women's squash federations agreed to merge. That means in January, for the first time ever, the sport will be run by one governing body, the Professional Squash Association. One of the first aims is to equal the prize money for men and women. Last year, Nick Matthew earned $26,000 more for winning the men's world title than women's champion Laura Massaro. I personally uh, support it and supported it, voted for it. We don't want to lose prize money in the search for equal prize money. Um, it's only equal if, um, I guess, the, the women's game goes up proportionately and meets the men where it currently is, or even further, ideally, rather than us coming down to meet them halfway. You know, that's not where we want to go. Along with one governing body, the Professional Squash Association believes their strides in television production will help their bid for Olympic inclusion. A peak audience of one million people in Britain watched Matthew become Commonwealth Games champion earlier this year in Glasgow. We're just going to continue to invest in that, you know, the TV product. You know, we've, we've, we've put a lot of advancements into the TV product. You know, it's getting better and better every, every month, really. The PSA is also concentrating on the United States, with now over one million Americans playing in the sport. In terms of numbers, the States is really growing in terms of squash now as well and they're just waiting for someone to make that breakthrough to sort of help the game grow. Um, you know, outside of the college and junior scene, they just need someone to take it forward. Even if the 2020 program doesn't change, squash will again bid for the 2024 Games as they continue to rally for Olympic inclusion. Richard Parr, Al Jazeera, Doha.